internally reflects to make the uh, complex compositions that you, that you see. So that's so in knowing that, you know, when you look at sunflower, there are certain optical uh, things that happen. The, the top of the piece is a concavity. And so when you, when you look at uh, something through a, a curving lens like that, it reduces the, the image, you know, the piece. When you look at something that's bow, bowing outward, if you, if you had a lens that was bowed like this, it would expand the, you know, it would, it would uh, uh, magnify the image. So the, that piece, when you, when you take it apart from a, a kind of a lens point of view, it has a, a concavity in it, which is a, a parabola. It's a, it's, a, it's a slice of a sphere, you know, uh, right, that reduces the image in it. You look through the lip rim of it, which is actually, which is actually a big bow, you know, like an outward bow toward you, not an inward bow away from you outward bow and everything is magnified you know like crazy and it and then when you look on the you know I, I, I look at the, the the form of that piece kind of like a diamond that has a, a pavilion uh, you know and a girdle around the, the center of it and if you look at, on the bottom side of the pavilion it, you're actually looking up at the reflection of the sunflower off of the interior of that concavity. So, you know, you, what you see there is another sunflower turned upside down because the reflection of the actual decoration, which is about this big, is being reflected off of that, that bowl up there, but you're seeing it through here, you know, through the side of it. Which is why it looks so different when you start mm -hmm. at the top and kneel down and look up and down. Yeah. You, you know, while, you know, I, I know you guys are, are not supposed to bend the rules, but maybe if you ask um, a guard or a curator or something to, to walk around it, like get up really close to it. See, you know, we ha had the stanchions around it, and unfortunately it's not displayed well. There's square stanchions. You can't w walk around it in a circle and, and keep your distance at the same, because you have to walk around a square right. trying to make a circle. <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah. So I'm, tr I'm trying to bend the... the um, uh, people here to, to make a, a round, you know, yeah. like a round barrier that's look closer to it so you can kind of, you know, peer down in it and walk around it, but it spins inside counter to where you're, to, yes. to where you're walking. It's dizzying when you, when you, when you can walk up and enjoy it. From a distance it's impressive, but when you, when you walk up and you look at the optics in it, it's like, whoa, and it's a whole, it's a whole nother level. But that's how that, that works. And, uh, so, um, you know, the big, can you imagine a big, um, a big round, thick bull, it's a French word for ball, you know, it's been, you know, come down through the, you know, history, meaning a big, big, thick wafer, big, like a cake would be a bull, you know, cake shape. And, uh, and then imagine that there's only a sweet spot within that, you know, it might be a little higher or a little bit lower or a little off center. And then you have to carve away everything else that's not that, you know, that perfect piece. And that's that's what you first do. So wire sawing it, uh, you have to you have to first grind and polish the whole thing and and test polish it and run a high intensity uh, light beam through it, you know, and analyze it, you know, like literally in a, in a grid, just running it through in a dark room. If you see any little glint of something, you know, in that, then you know you. Have, you know, you identify it and you and you try to stay away from it. And it takes days, if not weeks, just to, first of all, you cast the glass and then five months later it comes down to room temperature. Okay, so just get the, just get the glass started and you're talking about a production run that is, uh, let me think about this for a second. Uh, okay, so I used all that glass, so it wasn't just for this one piece, but even at uh, 3,500 pounds, you know, you're looking at a, a piece of glass that's about a $50,000 uh, chunk of optical material that I'm going to cut. cut. <laughs> yeah, just mess up, you know, turn into a piece of artwork that some, because somebody trusts me, you know, with it. 
Mm. And and then and then you waste. Uh, the, unfortunately, because of what that is, you you basically waste mm. everything else. I mean, if you can slice off from some larger pieces and turn them into smaller pieces, that's fine. But then it, then the piece was turned on a big uh, rotating platform, um, w which is a vertical turret lathe, to get it centered again, to get straight walls on it. To get it, you know, per perfectly uh, round and symmetrical within, you know, thousandths of an inch, and but then I had to hand carve all that. You know, when the 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 top of it, the bottom of it, when you flip it over, is is very deeply carved, although it looks almost flat. The cone so of the it flower. It's not cone shaped it's at all. But the glass piece. Yeah. Well, the the gla the the exterior of the of the. The, you know, the bottom is shaped like this in, internally, right? Oh. Oh. But because you look you look down through the top of it, it, it compresses the optics, mm -hmm. so it is very deeply carved in the bottom with all the seed mm -hmm. patterns oh, yeah. and all that. But it's, oh. but it still looks you know natural. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you know there's the side walls, right? And then there's the there's the uh, lip rim, which is you know the bevel edge. And then there's your, you know, the bowl, yeah. you know, shaped part of it. So it's a simple, sort of uh, geometric form. But in order to do that, it is. I mean, the hours turn into days, the days turn into weeks, the weeks turn into months, and uh, and you're and you're doing all this hand grinding, you know, from very uh, uh, coarse to fine and hand polishing all that. And then the fun actually happens <laughs> when I can get a hold of some carving tools. And start carving in the petals, you know, and the and the uh, you see, you take a look at those seeds, how precision they are oh, yes. in there. I developed uh, tools to do that. The bowl's upside down. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to just flip that thing, right? right? You have to cast it in plaster in a ring of steel. With it have have ears on the ring of steel, mm -hmm. and then you lift that up with a big crane, industrial crane. And then you can flip it like an upside down cake, right? And then, then take the ring of steel off of it, cut off, carve all the plaster away from it, and there you got the piece, again, you know, only flipped over. And then you know, start working on the bottom of it, you know, or the top, you know, back and forth, back and forth, doing that. And so I, I, I figured out a long time ago uh, that if you um, Make a, a French curve. You probably know what a French curve is, right? From art classes. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, uh, a progressing spiral. You know, and any any part of that arc, you know, progresses tighter and tighter. Mm -hmm. well, that's a that's a French curve. So if you if you uh, take a arc section of a French curve, if, and I I start with a little uh, dip right in the center of the bowl, accurately measured, and then little um, hash marks around the the back to this is the bottom of the bowl, bottom of the bowl, but it's a bowl too, oh, right? right? And I make little hash marks around the outside of the bottom, you know, that are all evenly spaced and a center point, and then this piece of a French curve, and I literally pin it, you know, in there, and then and then take it one, you know, one arc, and make a line. And then one more arc, you know, make a line all the way around. So all these lines, you know, are going like this, you know, to the center, and then flip that thing over and do do the opposite again. And then all those intersections, you see, yeah. are like that. Oh, right? Gosh. And and it, it, in those intersections is where they were all hand carved to make those seeds, you know, punched in there. Oh my gosh. And uh and and I'm not sure exactly on that one how many there are. There's, there's over 3,000 you know seeds in that, and it takes a long time to do that. Yeah. I, have, I have photos and some video of that process you know, going on, uh, but it's it's um, it's literally a few months worth of uh, carving all the the pat petals and all that, and then you know then the fun part is that uh, you have to um, in order what you're doing. From the other side, you can't work on the top. You, you know, it's upside down. Right. So you're working on the bowl upside down, but you can't see what's going on from the right. interior, and that's what's important. So I had to make a big uh, rolling table that was covered with rubber 
with a big hole in it. Uh, and it, and the and now the the top rim of the bowl, you know, back to the you know the bowl shape, right? There's a top rim. That top rim fit over the top of that hole in the table. And then I got a, a mechanics dolly, and I would you know sit on the mechanics dolly, you know, lean back. You know what a mechanics yes. dolly is? Uh -huh. You know, you roll in under a car, you know, on a little you know little uh -huh. dolly, uh -huh. roll in under it, look up see what I was doing, roll back out, do some more, you know, stand up, do some more, you know, get down, roll back under it, look up, you know, and just, you know, keep doing that day after day after day until, you know, you, you work the, the decoration, you know, you get the colors right, the, you know, the, you know, all the, all the things that are, that are in that, when you look at it, it's pretty intricate, it's, it's oil painted, it's, it's, uh, uh, an oil-based, it's a, a MSA, what they call mineral spirit um, acrylic base. It's a hybrid paint made by Golden, and it's super. It's a super uh, paint uh, that's in that. And then it was gilded with 24 karat gold and then varnished like a fine painting again. You know, on the outside where the gilding uh, is on it. And uh, the, the beauty of that piece, I won't be around, and none of us will be, to to um, prove prove what I'm about to tell you, but that's a, a high lead piece of glass, and it by definition absorbs high energy rays. Everything from gamma rays, uh, I mean if there was a nuclear explosion, the gamma rays would not hit the, the uh, decoration on that piece because they would be blocked and absorbed by the, by the glass itself. Mm -hmm before they hit it, they wouldn't wash it out, you know, the color, mm. you know, or destroy it. And and thus all the way down to the visual range, which is pretty safe uh, for color, but the, the you know, the it, that uh, original glass was made for two purposes. One was for optics and the other was for uh, uh, absorbing radiation, you know, high energy radiation. So the color that is that, that is slapped on the on the bottom side of the bowl, the color that you see uh, is protected by virtue of the fact that the, the glass precedes it's in front of it, right? And then that's backed up with the you know the gold and, and varnishes, you know, uh, behind it. So so the the actual surface that you see well, it's never going to deteriorate. It's not going to fade or, or do anything. It'll be around for a very long time, as you know, um, as long as war and other things don't, you know, uh, waste it. That thing, that thing will be just as vibrant for, like, you know, maybe ever. Um, so Where does it go from here? Stays here, hopefully. That's what we I was hoping you'd say. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, the, this is probably not discreet of me to say, but the, my, my hope is that there can be enough enthusiasm uh, generated to uh, uh, procure that for the, the, uh, oh, the permanent great. collection. Yeah, we'd love to have it. I'd love it to be here. The kids love it. So, so how did it get here? That's, uh, In yeah. a truck. By no, I mean, <laughs> how, what was the process to get it to Columbus? Did you did you intend it to be a museum piece when you made it? Um, the other the other three are owned by very um, well-to-do individuals, you know, extremely well-to-do individuals, and they'll probably wind up in museums, you know, someday. But I really would like that seed planted here, you know, because of my roots. Boy, would we like to have it. You know, so that that's a it's a mm -hmm. legacy piece. There there are a few, uh, you know, but that's that's a, a piece that's not going to be duplicated. You're not you're not just going to walk into some um, art gallery someplace anywhere in the world and see something uh, similar to that. That's that's a um, um, you know pretty ambitious you know project and. So and, so, and Schott's no longer doing it. I don't know anybody that can do it, you know, other than Schott. I mean, if, if somebody paid them millions of dollars to turn on their furnaces and to make, uh, uh, make some more glass like that, and they got all the, you know, uh, king's horses and all the king's men and all the technicians to figure it out 
and to try to replicate something like that. I suppose theoretically it could be done. Practically, yeah. never going to happen. Huh. I've seen another piece of yours, big blue, sort of circular piece, very, was it the uh, Hawk Gallery? Mm -hmm. Was that the same sort of M process? Maybe an egg, or was it was it the ginkgo ginkgo leaf? No, the big, it was the egg. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, That's uh, is that, that same oh, sort of blue moon. Yeah. It had the moon carved in right. the bottom of it. You can right. See it. Yeah. Same yeah. sort of technical process for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not not as heavy. Mm -mm. How much did you say that sunflower? Yeah, eleven hundred eight or uh, no, thousand eighty five. I'm sorry, thousand eighty five. Yeah. So they were reinforcing the floor this morning before they moved it because it's too heavy for the floor. Yeah. Well, gallon. the stand itself is another 300 and some pounds, so you're putting about 1,400 pounds of weight on some mm -hmm. rollers, you know, and so you have to... We um, slightly uh, impressed the oak floor, and you know how hard oak is in, in the first gallery? Oh, gosh. Yeah, and everybody's like, you know, <laughs> like this, so uh, we had to lay tracks you know, all the way into where it is.